What's up you guys, it's Steve here. Hope that you and the family are having a blessed Sunday and we're hearing that President Joe Biden is starting to take action. I'm gonna get you caught up on the latest. This is your breaking news, stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now we're hearing that he better take action and right away because this is a midterm election year and if he does not, well, it's gonna spell disaster for his administration and for Democrats in Congress, as we're hearing that a red wave could be coming this November in the House and in the Senate, and then we'd have a sitting Democratic president with a full Republican Congress, and it's very likely that his agenda will not get pushed through at all. Now, you guys, take a look. I actually just did a poll 30 minutes before the recording of this, so there's not a lot of votes, so if you haven't voted yet, go vote. I'd like to see your opinion on this, but if today presidential elections were held, I'd vote for Biden. He's gonna pull us through this, just 15% not Biden, but another Democratic candidate. So those voting Democrat are actually the majority saying they'd like somebody else in his position. And for the Republicans, it is very dominant for Trump. They're saying, get Trump in there. He will fix things right away. Now, we're hearing that he has got to take action on an assortment of different things. Inflation is skyrocketing. Food prices are high. Gas prices are high. And take a look at this. We have a run on baby formula due to a shortage. They're saying that they would like to have stimulus checks, monthly reoccurring checks of $250 per month to help ease the issue with the shortage. Well, you guys, take a look at this. Biden has invoked the Defense Production Act for formula shortage. We're hearing that he has stepped up and said that this is something that needs to be addressed immediately to help out parents get that baby formula. But we also heard that the House had passed a bill, but that formula bill is gonna be facing rocky terrain in the Senate. Now, I'm gonna get you caught up on the latest, but we're hearing that Biden, he is attempting to get things pushed through. And as I mentioned, he's gonna have to pick up the pace here before these midterm elections if Democrats wanna stay in power. However, we're hearing that he very likely is gonna have to do executive orders and executive actions as Democrats are not unified to pass through legislation. Take a look at these headlines just coming out, you guys. Joe Manchin's trail of destruction is about to get much worse. As they're saying, even though he has said he is willing to get on board to negotiate a slimmed down, modified reconciliation bill for stimulus provisions known as the Build Back Better, he's willing to discuss some of these things if they can be paid for and not add to debt and inflation. They're saying, they're fearing, that Joe Manchin just might be stringing them along. And we've heard that he has also said that if they're gonna pass something, a stimulus package, even stimulus checks, he'd like to do it September 30th, the last day possible, bringing it down to the wire, meaning that they would pretty much have to bend to his will in order to get anything done or their ability to pass reconciliation would expire. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, you guys. Do you think that Joe Manchin is gonna get on board? Is he stringing them along? Is executive orders and actions going to be the only way that Biden is going to be able to pass his economic agenda and provide more stimulus to people? Well, I'm going to get you caught up on the latest. We're going to be taking a look at some video footage and what he's doing right now. And we heard that in the coming weeks, he's going to take a step towards his first stimulus provision of wiping out student debt. And then we heard that that will be the beginning of many more to come if legislation can't get pushed through. So let's go ahead and dive right in, get you caught up on the latest. But before we do, also wanted to mention, consider joining the second channel, Steve Ram Finance to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. More content coming on that channel for you if you're interested in learning about businesses, real estate, stocks, crypto, investing to help out you and your family. I will pin a comment down below if you're interested. Click that link, go subscribe, turn on notifications. But you guys, also, if you appreciate the content here on this channel, don't forget, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It takes just a second, helps me out a ton. Thank you so much. If you wanna stay up to date, totally free, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, share this out if you think it could help out other people. And if you got any specific questions, I'm happy to help you out uh, and get any information that I can to you. You can reach me directly on Instagram at steveram3. Just shoot me a DM. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. President Biden has invoked the Defense Production Act to supposedly speed up the production and distribution of baby formula. Here is Biden yesterday announcing that policy. The Defense Production Act gives the government the ability to require suppliers to direct needed resources to infant formula manufacturers before any other customer who may have ordered that good. I'm also announcing Operation Fly Formula. That's to be able to speed up the import of infant formula and start getting more formula in stores as soon as possible. I've directed the Department of Defense and the Department of Health and Human Services to send aircraft planes overseas to pick up infant formula 
that meets U.S. health and safety standards so we can get it on the store shelves faster. The authorization comes just a week after former White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki blasted Republicans for suggesting the Defense Production Act as a means to address the shortage. The production of, manu of uh, baby formula is so specialized and so specific that you can't just use the Defense Production Act to t say to a company that produces something else, produce baby formula. It just doesn't work that way exactly. I guess it does. <laughs> <laughs> the new White House orders hit the House floor yesterday and approved a bill that would expand access to formula for low-income Americans. Only 12 Republicans voted in favor of the legislation. Democrats then added $28 million in funding for the FDA in hopes to prevent future disruptions and enhance safety inspections, according to the Washington Post. So there you have it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. President Biden stepping up to take action to help out with the baby formula issue. And we heard Jen Psaki just the week before said that the Defense Production Act would not be invoked. And then it was. I guess she should have circled back on that one. But you guys, take a look at this article. Link in the description below. Baby formula faces rocky terrain in the Senate. So we're going to be seeing as they try to pass that bill through the House. It got passed. Now it's going on to the Senate. Take a look at what they're saying about this. Emergency bunny legislation aimed at addressing the infant formula shortage is facing rocky terrain in the Senate as Republican leaders are reluctant to say if they'll support the Democratic-backed legislation that swiftly passed the House earlier this week. Senate Democrats are pushing for speedy action on the bill, calling it a critical first step by Congress in addressing a nationwide shortage. But Republicans argue throwing more money at the FDA is not the solution. Senator Roy Blunt, a member of the GOP leadership, told The Hill on Thursday that it may or may not serve to solve some long-term problems at the FDA. He also expressed doubt about the impact that it'll have on the upcoming weeks for people that need baby formula. Senator Richard Shelby, the top GOP member of the Senate Appropriations Committee, also said on Thursday that he, he's doubtful that the bill has the necessary backing from Republicans to secure its passage in the upper chamber. As the formula shortage continues to dominate public interest, lawmakers and the Biden administration have been feeling the pressure to respond. Jumping down, the article says that the current shortage was triggered in part by supply chain stresses, but worsened when a single formula manufacturing plant in Michigan shut down back in February. Just four companies control more than 90% of the formula market, including Abbott Nutrition, which operated the Michigan plant. Democrats have decried the market consolidation, but are focused mainly on the immediate issue of getting formula back onto store shelves. Abbott shut the facility down back in February after it was linked to four infants who were hospitalized with rare bacterial infections. The company also issued a voluntary recall of the formula brands made from the facility after an FDA inspection found unsanitary conditions at the plant. So there you have it. The good news is it looks like Congress is taking action to try to help out with this supply chain issue and get formula back on shelves for parents and their children. However, we're also hearing reports that this might take a while. They're taking action now, but we might not see them actually hit stores for another roughly 10 weeks. Now, as updates come out, though, I'll be sure to let you know here on the channel. And also, as I mentioned, we're going to be seeing if Congress is going to be addressing other issues as well. We're hearing a lot of calls for stimulus checks. We're hearing about child tax credits and assortment of different provisions and we're going to be seeing if Congress is going to get on board with more legislation to pass through more provisions, more direct assistance to help out people, as we're also seeing a new wave of the Omicron variant hitting and the United States cases are increasing. We will see, and also midterm elections are adding to the pressure to see what passes. And if we can't pass any legislation again, we're going to be seeing if President Joe Biden will step up and take action for executive orders. I'll keep you up to date on everything here on the channel. I cite all my sources for you, link them in the description. Read them right on the screen so you know it's the latest and I'll be sure to keep you up to date. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me on this Sunday morning. I hope that this is a blessing to you and that you have a great day with the family. And if you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second, smash that like button for me. Helps out a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you like to stay up to date, totally free, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. I'll let you know everything going on. If you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3 and consider joining my second channel Steve Ram Finance to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. I pray that that is a blessing to you. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.